Commissioner, as I indicated, we are moving to a case study about select AFSL and our first witness is Ms Cathy Marika. I, yes. under, I understand, uh, Commissioner, that Ms Marika would like to take an oath. Yes, I swear to oath, <coughs> please. I swear by Almighty God. I swear by Almighty God. That the evidence I shall give. That the evidence I shall give. Will be the truth. Will be the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. Thank you very much. Do sit down. Do sit down. Yes, Ms. Paul. Ms. Marika, uh, your full name is Kathy Balnangu Marika? Yes. And you live at an address in Orange in New South Wales that's known to the Royal Commission? Yes. Uh, what is your occupation, Ms. Marika? My occupation now, uh, I've retired. Thank you. Uh, and did you receive a summons to attend and give evidence today? Yes. Do you have that summons there? Yes, I have. Attend to the summons, Commissioner. Give it 4.170, the summons to Ms Marika. And did you make a statement to the Royal Commission dated the 19th of June 2018? Yes. Do you have that statement there? Yes, I have. Are the contents of your statement true and correct? Yes. I tender the statement, Commissioner. Exhibit 4.171, the statement of Ms Marika, 19 June 18. Now, Ms Marika, I understand you have some hearing difficulties, so I'll try mm. and speak uh, loudly and slowly, but if you have difficulty hearing, will you please let me know? Yes, I do. Thank you. Now, Ms Marika, could you tell the Commission about your cultural background? My cultural background is we are raised with respect and cultural value of teaching what is good. We go through a lot of discipline in the early age. Once we come out of the hospital, and we are surrounded by family with the hot sauna being placed on our body for respecting. Then once we grow older, we go through a big sauna of they create coal on the fire and then covered us with paper bark. So we breathe in the, the heat for healing. I come from a big family of cultural teaching and teaching us respect to pass on the re respect and discipline to others, other culture and other people who have different languages you know, in my community. We go through all that and plus keep continue teaching respect and discipline to younger children. I'm doing that now with my grandchildren. Miss Marika, where were you born and raised? I was born in North East Arnhem North East Arnhem Land? Yes. And you were raised there? Yes. You identify as an Aboriginal woman? Yes. And you are a Yolnu woman, is that right? Yol. Uh, yes. And what is your first language, Ms Marika? My first language is Yolmata. Yolnu Mata? Yes. And what is your second language? My second language is English. And do you speak any other languages, Ms Marika? I understand the other languages in my community, but not speak. Yes, thank you. Uh, and when did you leave East Arnhem Land and move to New South Wales? I moved to New South Wales in 1996. And how old are you now, Ms Marika? I am 60 year old. 
And do you have any children? <coughs> I've got three children, two boys and one girl. And do you have any grandchildren? I have five grandchildren and they're all girls. And when you lived in the Northern Territory, uh, did you work? I worked for the Department of Health in my community. And what did you do with the Department of Health? I was assistant nurse. Thank you. And when you moved to New South Wales, did you work? I, um, I worked for Nathan Dance College. For a dance college? Naista Dance Naista, yes. yes. And then um, I worked for Bangara Dance Company until I retired. And uh, when did you stop working for Bangara Dance Company? 2015. And why did you stop working at that point? I, I stopped working because of my lumbar problem, my back, yes. and sciatic on my left leg. And since you stopped working with Bangara, uh, you've received the Centrelink New Start allowance? Yes. And do you support other people on your New Start allowance? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. I support my, my children and my grandchildren. With a little bit of money, uh, yes, I do. You tell us in your statement that between September 2015 and December 2016, you supported one of your granddaughters. Yes, and uh, she's here with me, yes. And another granddaughter came to live with you this year? She moved in to live with me this year, yes. Yes, so you support two of your granddaughters? I do. Now, Ms Marika, in late 2015, did you get some telephone calls from Let's Insure? I did. And during those telephone calls, did you sign up to a funeral insurance policy with Let's Insure? I didn't really sign up with the Let's Insure because the, the phone call I got was a private call. So, um, for me to understand the speech of language, talking, I couldn't catch up what they were saying. You it's writing over me. And th there was a little bit of say that I said, you know, but not like the others. They spoke longer than me, which I didn't really hear. So you had difficulties understanding them in the telephone calls? Not with the different accents. I, I can't understand what they're saying. Yes, I see. Now, um, when you got those calls, did you want funeral insurance? I, I thought about it. I really didn't want to um, tell them that to sign me in for the life insurance through, through Let's Insure because I had life insurance benefit already through work. So you already had funeral insurance through yes. your work, is that right? Yes. Yes. Uh, now, I'm going to play you a recording that was provided to us by Let's Insure and I'm going to ask for the transcript of that recording to be placed on the screen at the same time. Now, there are a number of recordings I want to play for you, but this recording is from a call on the 24th of August, 2015, and parts of the recording have been removed because they can contain personal information about you and your family, including their names and birthdays. Right. Yes. Now, the recording is SAF 0001-0001-0069, and the transcript is SAF 0001-0001-0080. And before we start that, can I just indicate, Commissioner, that the quality of this recording is uh, uh, 
poor in parts, uh, the other recordings that we will play later are, are clearer. <coughs> Could we play that recording, please? Hello? Hello, can I speak to Mr. or Mr. Is that Marika? speaking. Well, I'm currently calling from the Eagles Advisors. And I think just doing a quick uh, one minute survey. Uh, mainly yes or no answers. And that won't be long, okay? So um, this call is being recorded for your technique and my training, okay? So it can be, uh, to begin with, I believe in Australian residents. Yeah? Yes. You are fantastic. And uh, Kathy, which of the following age group study you fall into? Uh, 20 to 60, 61 to 75. Oh, happy birthday, and yeah. done. <laughs> oh, okay. And Kathy, um, do you have a funeral insurance, a funeral cover? Uh, I think so. Um, you yeah, do. I have. You do. Yeah. You do, fantastic, lovely. So, um, Kathy, that's actually uh, really very nice to hear that you've got funeral insurance already, because uh, that means that you care for your family's uh, peace of mind, right? And yeah, Kathy, right, yeah. I'm not here to sell you a second funeral insurance, because obviously that'll be pointless for you to have to. And I'm not asking you to change anything as well, all right? Uh, Kathy, actually, we're working in partnership with a cover for you, which is based in Sydney. And uh, as they have to 50 percent cheaper compared to uh, leading funeral insurance providers, all we want to do is provide you with a premium obligation uh, comparison regarding funeral insurance. And of course, it is at no cost to you, right? So, Kathy, uh, what I'll do, uh, I'll have one of my colleagues uh, from Java for you to give you a quick call a bit later on today, or tomorrow, at the time we're coming into you, okay? And uh, he will just go ahead and provide you with a free comparison, okay? So, Kathy, can I have an advisor to call you in the next 15 to 20 minutes to provide you with a free comparison? Is that fine with you? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good, good. And also, Kathy, uh, just to help the advisor a bit, okay, uh, with which company do you have the funeral insurance? It, it, it's in my email. Um. Oh, okay. But, but you got funeral insurance already, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Will you be able to check uh, your um in paperwork, okay, before the advisor calls you, or shall I put it uh, the call back for later on? Uh, let's say um at around four four o'clock. Is that okay? So that's how time to check your paperwork. Is that fine? Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. And also, Kathy, uh, just in case uh, you know, the advisor can't reach you on this number, uh, at second point of com contact, uh, do you have an alternative number to give me? Okay, yeah. and uh, all right, and also Kathy, please stay on the line for a few seconds more. My supervisor would like to do a very, very quick uh, customer feedback, so just to confirm the appointment for today at 4. Okay, please stay on the line, and Danny will have a quick chat with you. Okay, Kathy? Yeah. Okay, please stay on the line. Thank you. Stay on the line. Hello, am I speaking to Kathy? Yes, thank you. Hello, Kathy. This is Danny, one of our managers here, and I won't be taking much of the time. I uh, just need to let you know that for the nature of the call from Kevin for you will be sales based. Can I confirm that you have a genuine interest in receiving the call today at 4 o'clock for free comparisons among your funeral insurance? Yes? Yes? Okay, very good. And Kathy, I also need to let you know the terms of us so that you will receive a small fee for referring you to Kevin for you, but of course it is at no cost to you, and you're not paying for anything at all. Uh, thank you very much for your time, Kathy. It has been a pleasure speaking to you. We'll get back to you uh, later on. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Ms. Marika, was that your voice that we heard as one of the three voices on that recording? Yes. Uh, and do you remember getting that telephone call? I do. Uh, and what did you understand was going on in that telephone call? In the telephone call, um, I thought they were on it practicing a survey on me, which I, I don't know what survey I was for. And Before what then talking about the life insurance. And what did you think was going to happen after that call? Um, the lady who was talking then before 
then gave it to a man called Simon who said he was gonna make me join in to the life insurance. Thank you, Ms Marika. I, I see the time, Commissioner. We're going to move to some other recordings. Each of these recordings and transcripts are exhibits to Ms Marika's statement. Is it best to break now, best yes. to go on? I, best I to I'm sorry, if yeah. you wouldn't mind giving me just a moment, Commissioner. <coughs> Oh yes, um, I'm, um, Mr. Lesnikoff reminds me that there is a non-publication direction in relation to the names of the participants in these phone calls. So to the extent that there has been a reference to someone's name, uh, it is the subject of a non-publication direction. Even though they're only the given names of? Yes, I believe the direction has been made, Commissioner. Right. Okay. Um, well, if we come back at uh, shortly after two o'clock, is that best thing to do, Ms. Hall? Yes, I, I think we can probably come back at two o'clock. Fine, to at two o'clock. Yes, I'm told that the technical arrangements will be fine at two o'clock. Okay, Commissioner. we can come back at two then. Thank you. <coughs> Ms. Marika, the, the last, uh, the recording that I played to you before lunch was of a call from the 24th of August 2015. Can I ask you to listen to another recording um, from a call recorded on the, the following day, the 25th of August 2015. Uh, the recording is SAF 0001 0001 Zero zero seven zero, and the transcript SAF triple zero one triple zero one double zero eight two. Hello, hello, is that Kathy? You're speaking. Kathy, it's, it's Luke giving you a call from Let's Insure in Sydney. How are you doing today? You well? No, no. Not well at the moment, no. Oh, what's up? Yeah, just cold. You know, it's raining here and it's really cold. Oh. I don't have a heater or anything. Oh, no way. Whereabouts are you? Uh, I'm in Dublin. In Dublin? In Dublin. <clears throat> yeah, trying to get warm. Oh, where, whereabouts is that? Western Australia? Yeah, west of Sydney. Where, Sydney? West of Sydney. Oh, lovely. Uh, well, the weather's not nice there, no? No, no, it's raining. Yeah. Raining. We're, just in, is, uh, we're just in Chatsford in Sydney. Not far away. Yeah. Kathy, um, obviously, I just, obviously, following up on that conversation that I had with my colleague about the Let's Ensure funeral cover, I understand you've actually already got funeral cover in place, is that right? Yeah. Lovely. And who's that with, Kath? No, like insurance uh, line? Yeah, lifeline or something. Insurance line? Yeah, insurance yeah. line. Brilliant. Yeah, they've already... Um, yeah, brilliant. How long, that have, you, how, have you had that policy in place for a while? Sorry? Have you had that policy in place for a while? Uh, just recently, they um, rang me about a couple of days ago last week. Oh, and you took and, out um, then? Yeah, it's just new, yeah, it just started. Mm. And how many how many people did you get in place? Um, uh, there's my three children. Yeah. And one hundred percent each. Um. Pardon? <coughs> oh, yeah. So, so three children and. Your Let me yeah. This is the um. He, he's the one. Whatever I left. Behind, he, he'll... Oh, he'll get he, the money. Uh, yeah, he'll get oh, all the money. Great yeah. stuff. And how many... So, with your kids, how, how old are your kids? My son, oldest son... Oh, okay. 
My second son is Yep. And my daughter is Oh, brilliant. Lovely. That's great stuff. So, Kathy, we deal with insurance like customers like yourself actually every day. I'd say about 80% of my day I deal with switching insurance like customers over to us because we are able to save them money, okay? And I mean, I'm Kathy, I'm sure of the, you're like most people I speak with. No one really wants to be spending more money on their insurance than they really have to, eh? So, your car... But, but, but I can't... Yeah? But I can't do it again, you know, I can't have two. Yeah, so, so that's what we're doing. So that's obviously what I'm telling you. We can actually help you cancel that policy. <laughs> Instead of having that one, you'll just have this one. Obviously, the one that is obviously cheaper. You know what I mean? No, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the other one. Yeah, but surely you'd be happy if you're saving yourself a bit of money and getting more cover. No, no, no. Miss Marika, was that your voice again that we heard on that call? Yes. And do you remember receiving that call from Let's Insure? Yes. Uh, and at the time you received that call, were you still working with Bangara Dance Company? I was, yes. And did you have funeral cover through Media Super through your employment? Yes. Uh, and at that point, did you want to buy another funeral insurance policy? They were forcing me to uh, sign in, yes. Uh, now, do you remember getting another call from Let's Insure uh, about two weeks later, on the 9th of September 2015. Yes? Yes. Now, that was a 38-minute call, so I want to play you two parts of that call. Do you understand? Okay. Yes. So, if we could first play SAF 001 001-0071. Uh, from the start until three minutes and 28 seconds into the call, please. And you have, we have the transcript SAF 0001 0001 0085 on the screen. Hello? Hi there, is that Kathy? Yes, speaking. Hi there, Kathy, just... Yeah, giving you that call back from uh, the Let's Insure. How are you? Relation to what? Well, you've done the uh, survey online about the Let's Insure funeral cover, and I'm just here to give you your free quotes, OK? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah, I've been too busy, you know. Um, people coming in and out, you know, trying to do my carpet, you know, like, you know, make oh, sure yeah. you know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, is it all done now? You got new carpet? No, just measuring, measuring the carpet to rip the carpet and put another wood in on top of the carpet. And oh, out. yeah. Oh, no worries. Yeah. No worries at all. At least it's well underway, eh? Yeah. Oh, that's good news. That's good oh, news. Hopefully, hopefully. They, they keep putting it back, putting it back, you know. Back <laughs> off, back off, you know. Oh, yeah, That's yeah. It's annoying, isn't it? I've been going to the, the yeah. office for the meeting and, yeah. No worries. No, well, hopefully it gets done soon. Yeah, Kathy, I'm just ringing because you had a chat with a colleague of mine about the Let's Insure funeral cover. And I'm just yeah. here to give you your free oh, yeah, I, I, I never got back to you. Sorry about that. No, all good. All good, Kathy. Well, we can talk about it now anyway. No worries. Okay? Yeah. Now, now, Kathy, I can see you've got some funeral insurance already. Is that right? I think so, yeah, I have, um, because through, through my work and uh, they do uh, all the paperwork for me for funeral covers and all that. Oh, you've only got it through your work, have you? Yeah, I work for a company down in Sydney. Oh, yeah, oh, where, where about in Sydney? Uh, Bangara Dance Company I work for. Bangara? Yeah, dance company, yeah. Ah, per perfect, perfect. Because uh, we're just in chats, would you see, so you're, you know, near Sydney? Yeah, just uh, on the other side, eh? Yeah, literally just because you're, you're right in the centre, are you? Yeah, and we're this side. Bangara is this side. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, you're in... Um, at, at the Walsh Bay there. Yeah, exactly, that's the one. You're near, you're near Circular Quay, are you? Is it that one? Sorry? Is it the one that's near Circular Quay, is it? No, um, Circular Quay is on the other side of the bridge. And oh, the... This side. Oh, OK, so yeah, you on... Which side are you? 
The Welsh Bay side looking to, looking across the water to Luna Park. Oh yeah, the yeah Welsh Bay that one. Yeah, that's the one, isn't it? Yeah, just um, it's near the other theatre. Isn't it? There's a Ro Roslyn Packer theatre there as well, isn't there? Near you? Yeah. Yeah, that's what you're right on the water, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. No well, worries at all. Well, the good news is, look, we, we speak to loads of people that got it through the work, look. Um, but what they tell me is they, they've got an expiry date on theirs, and you can't actually cover the whole family, okay? So yeah. what, I'll, what I'll do for you is I'll just tell you about ours. I'll show you how we can cover the whole family so you're all well looked after, and you just tell me what you think, okay? Now, Ms. Marika, I'll play you another later part of the call in a few minutes, but before I do, was that your voice again on that recording? Yes. And do you remember this call? I do. And what do you remember about what the person from Let's Insure was saying to you? That call... I was busy with the people coming in from Orange and doing my carpet, and it was a bit of an interruption for me to be able to answer the call that day, yes. Um, how did you feel about the way the Let's Insure person was speaking to you in this call? I don't know, um, to put them together from... from talking about the first bit they talked about before going into life insurance policy, you know, um, it was a bit of misunderstanding to be able to hear them properly of the change of the policy from one to another. I, I told them that I didn't want it. I told them I've already had one, but he seemed to be really pushy, <coughs> um, asking me to say yes. And did you find the person easy or difficult to understand? Sorry? Did you find him easy to understand or difficult to understand? Difficult, really, um, the way he was talking, uh, with a bit of a laugh in between our conversation, didn't make sense. And was he using words that you understood? <coughs> half I understood and half I didn't. And did you feel that you knew what to say back to him? It took me a while to think what to say back to him, yes. And did you feel that he was giving you time uh, to say things back to him? Yes. You had enough time? No. No. Not enough time? No. Um, why, why do you, could you explain why you need time uh, when someone is talking to you, why it helps you for that to be not too fast? Well, person need to understand that on the other end, person need to think and sort out what to say before answering back at a person. But in our culture, uh, our culture <coughs> is for the young people to listen to the old people saying, who let, let us think, but we'll come up with a, the answer to give back to the person. But this one, like, you know, he, he, he was just talking, 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 didn't give me time to talk or to think. And <coughs> is it particularly important for you to have time when someone's speaking to you in English? Yes. And why is that? The... Sorry, I didn't catch you, sorry. Uh, why is it important for you to have some time in a conversation when someone's talking to you in English? Because I need to translate it for myself in, in Yolngu to put it into English. 
So you need to translate it in your head as the conversation goes. Uh, and did you feel that the man was talking in an appropriate way to you in this conversation? The, the other people? The, the person in this call. Was the way he was talking to you appropriate? Not really, no. And why is that? Can you explain that? I think the, the speech is too fast for me to catch up with, like, thinking that the word, what it's actually each word mean to be able to put it in sense in my language before talking to the person. And did you feel that he was listening to you? He wasn't listening to me, no. And what did you understand to be the reason he was calling you? To sign me up for the life insurance with them. And do you remember talking about your children and your children in this call? Well, he asked me if I had family, and I told him about my family. Uh, and uh, did he ask you for information about your family? Yes, their age and their date of birth. And why did you think he was asking you for that information? Well, he said it's part of their policy to record all, all the family in, into one list. Okay. <coughs> all right. Uh, now, can I ask you to listen to another part of that same call? This part is four minutes and fifty—I'm sorry, four minutes and fifty-one seconds into the call, and we're going to play until the eleven minute and twenty-second mark, please. <laughs> now. What we got for you, look, we have the funeral cover. We go all the way up to $16,000, okay? Now, the reason why people take one out with us as well as they want as they have at work is because we're priced up to 50% less. And as you can imagine, you don't really want to be spending too much, do you? No. No, Derek, you've got better things to be spending your money on, eh? Uh, I'll tell you what, no, I'll tell you that in a minute because uh, I haven't been going to work because I'll... I had to come and do this house, you know, for the inspection yeah. and everybody. Yeah. So uh, I haven't been putting much money at all. Yeah. From work. Yeah, exactly. Because you definitely don't want to be paying too much, eh? <laughs> <clears throat> no worries. Now, Kathy, what else we've got for you? Look, we also have the accidental death cover. Now, this is for each of the family members as well. So. That's going to be $32,000 each day as well, okay? <clears throat> so that means... Where's all the money coming from? Yeah, that, that's $48,000 each. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yep. Now, it's not only that as well, Kathy. Look, the reason why people join us is because we have two extra benefits as well, okay? Now, your first one is more for the families, as I'm told, okay? It's called Accidental Serious Injury Cover, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, as you can imagine, I mean, serious injuries, they can happen to anyone in the family, can't they? Serious um, injuries, yeah, sometimes yeah. work-wise. Yeah, yeah of course. Lumbar infection. My, my medical history is the lumbar. Oh, yeah? So sometimes, yeah. Oh, I see. No, worries. well, of course, I don't want you to get injured, Kathy. Okay. No. Uh, but I mean, look, if you were to suffer anything, you or any of the family, look, whoever you cover, if any of you suffer like blindness, paralysis, coma, major head trauma, major burns, loss of hearing, loss of speech, or the loss of the use of your limbs, what you all get whilst you're alive is thirty-two thousand dollars each. Okay. Hmm. And what that'll do, that pays for like, uh, maybe for the time that you're off work, it'll pay for that. You've also got, you know, hospital bills, it pays for everything like that. Okay? Hospital bill is the, the major, because I sometimes ring the ambulance and 
I don't yeah. have enough money to pay the ambulance. I know, it costs a lot of money, doesn't it? Hearing. Need to see a hearing doctor for my ear. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, that's not good. That's not Well, I hope that's on the men. But, yeah, it costs a lot for ambulances nowadays, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Yeah, I mean, every time... It's not really enough money. Yeah, exactly. That's why sometimes I don't even call them sometimes, because it costs me too much. <laughs> No worries. Same as me then, Kathy. Now, if you were to suffer one of those eight injuries and needed the ambulance, you know you could because you've all, you got $32,000 each there. Okay? Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't need help there. Yeah. Might as well join. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So you got that one. And then we've also got some more as well, you see. Okay? Now, when you pass away, Kathy, the bills still carry on, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, of course. So to help uh, your family out, we actually give them $800 every single month, okay? And that can be for up to 20 whole months, so nearly two years, just to help out with all those bills, okay? Mm. So you can see why a lot of people join our cover, the whole family, just to get those extra benefits, can't you? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Now... And Kathy, the reason why people do it now is because during the first 12 months, you're covered for accidental death. Then following that, you're covered for everything, okay? And you're also covered for your serious injuries straight away as well, all right? Yeah, well, then, yeah that sounds really good, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Now, with us, look, like I said before, look, you can have you on at work, no worries, okay? Because they sort that one out for you anyway. Now, for you and your family, you can choose just to cover yourself, but most people cover everyone, Okay. So, so maybe with, with this, what you're offering me now, I'll cover myself and my family, my uh, five grannies. Yeah, you got... My five grandchildren and three children. Yep, so... Two boys and one girl. Perfect. So what I'll do for you... Now, with our cover, it's worldwide. It will never expire, so you know your family will get the money. And um, the cover we have comes completely free at the age of 85. Uh, but, Kathy, you sound like you've got ages to go and see your 85 anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I just... Uh, yeah, definitely a long time then, eh? <laughs> no worries, Kathy. Now, how many people did you say were in your family again? How many was there? i got three children, two boys and one girl. Two boys and one girl. And they're your children, are they are they? My oldest son is now. Year old for F. Yep, now what was his date of birth? I mean, so you're doing better than me already, Kathy. I've got two boys and I can't remember either of their dates of birth. <laughs> my, my second son's date of birth is on the. So you bear me a second, so. Yep, and then your daughter? My daughter's on the. So. So your two sons are f and f is that right? Sorry? Your two sons, one of them's f one of them's f and your daughter's f Exactly, yeah. That's the one. And what was your date of birth, Kathy? No worries. Now, you said, did you say you wanted to get the grandkids covered as well, do you? Yeah, my grandkids, and um, I can only remember two of my grandchildren's date of birth, but not the little ones. But I'll ask my daughter about that. Yeah, no, well, what we'll do for now, Kathy, for the two that you do know, we'll add them on now. We'll get you all covered, and then once you know the other's dates of birth, we'll pop them on later. No. Miss Marika, by the end of this call, what did you think had happened? To me, it sounded like I had no choice to make except accepting what he was offering me. And what do you think? So I'm told there's some uh, hiccup with the sound or uh, some aspect of the uh, feed is not working. Um, I think that's the position. Uh, if it we is, take a brief probably break we should break and that. see if we can sort it out and then come back. Uh, Perhaps if uh, you send for me when you yes. uh, know what uh, the position is. Yes.
Yes, yes, I, I understand we've fixed those technical difficulties. Yes, yeah, I gather it was with the, uh, not the feed generally, but the sound particularly for the transcription. That's right. Arrangements, they matter too. Yes. <laughs> uh, now, just before the break, Ms Marika, I had asked you uh, by the end of that telephone call that we had just listened to, what did you think had happened? I thought um, I thought about it, what he was trying to say to me, uh, getting all my children's name and their date of birth and my phone phone number. I thought that he wouldn't take any money out of my children's account because I didn't give him my children's account. I thought that he would be taking money out of my account because he didn't listen to me what I tried to say to him about the life insurance cover. I would be paying that for all of us, for my grandchildren and my children, to bury me. To bury you? Yes. Yes. So I know it's hard to remember back to what you thought at a particular point in time a long time ago, <coughs> but do you think you understood after that call that you'd agreed to a funeral insurance policy not just for you, but also funeral insurance for your three children and your five grandchildren. The person on the other side, on the other line, didn't listen to me what I had in mind to talk to him. But in, instead, he, he spoke all the way through, never gave me a chance for each phone call He's been ringing me, plus others who's been ringing me, giving me a chance to talk. But I had that in, in my mind to tell them, but I didn't get any chance, mm -hmm. except to say yes for whatever they have offered me to say. And the next day, the 10th of September 2015, um, we know that you called Let's Insure again and you asked to speak to the person you'd spoken to the previous day. Yes, I did, yeah, yes. because I got a missed call from them, so I, I tried see. to ring them back. And the person who picked up the phone said that that person would call you back when you yes. called them, and later that day uh, they did call you back, is that right? They did, yes. And in that call, the person from Let's Insure asked you to provide him with information about your family and about your friends. Do you remember that? Yes. And why did you think he was asking for that information? That's a good question too, because I keep thinking about that question of why he was asking me for, for more information about myself and my family. Were you not sure at the time why? Sure. Yes. Now, this was a 29-minute call on this day, so again, we're just going to play some parts of it. We're going to play six short parts, okay? Yes. So the, the first one of those is three minutes and 34 seconds into the phone call and ends four minutes and 46 seconds into the call. That's SAF 0001 0001 0073. And the transcript is SAF 0001 0001 0105 at 0107. No, no, not, not your kids, because they're already covered. It's just anybody else that you know, like anybody else that lives near you, any other numbers you've got in your phone book. Because the more of them that sign up with us, the more money you get, you know what I mean? Oh. So like you don't pay for that, oh. yeah, you don't pay for them. I just ring oh, that, I, I ring up like your family and friends and say, well, 
She, um, you, Kathy, you've just, Kathy's just got the funeral cover with us for her and her whole family. And she just said to ring you to explain it to you to help you out as well. Obviously, they go, yeah. Then okay. they get their family covered, so they're all safe. And then because they've done that, you get some vouchers. <laughs> Oh, okay. why don't you have a look for your phone book? Yeah, if you want to have a look for your phone book, look. Um, I'll just take down everybody's name and number. I can ring them all today. And you never know, if you've got like 30 of them, you get $600. <laughs> for what? For, for mine? Yeah, for Coles and Myers. For Coles? Yeah, the shops. Oh, there's, there's, there's lots of shops on there. There's eight shops that you can spend it in and it'll be $600. Your voice we hear again there, Ms. Marika. Is that your voice talking yes. to the Let's Ensure person? Uh, and <coughs> why did you think you were being asked these questions? He was offering me the vouchers. He told me about the vouchers before, but then um, he said he was going to give me a voucher from Coles and Myers, which I didn't get. Can we move to the second excerpt from this call, which is seven minutes and 22 seconds in and ends eight minutes and 23 seconds into the call? SAF 0000010105 is the transcript at 0108. Yeah, no, as you just get as many as you can, because obviously the more people I have to ring, so say if I have 50 people to ring, Obviously, say 25 of them sign up, so half of them, which generally is what happens, you get $500. So obviously, the more the merrier, eh? Yeah, all right, yeah. Yeah, no worries. So, it doesn't matter how long it takes, because I've got all day, Kathy. <laughs> uh, okay. It can be even people you work with as well, any, anybody you like. People that I work? Yeah, you can, it can be anybody that you know that you think might want it, I'll just ring them. <clears throat> All good. Now, this was later in the call and you were being asked not just to give information about your family and friends, but also about people you worked with. <coughs> Not only people that I work with, but for my friends also. He wanted their numbers and their names. And it said to me, the more I gave number and people's names, he'll give me, give me more vouchers. Now, if we could go to the third excerpt from the call, which is 11 minutes and 53 <coughs> seconds into the call and ends 12 minutes into the call, 0109 is the transcript reference. Yeah, no worries. No worries. You take as much time as you need, because obviously the more we get, obviously the better it could be for you, you know what I mean? And then we'll move to the fourth excerpt, which is 13 minutes and 15 seconds into the call and ends 13 minutes and 29 seconds into the call. 0110 for the transcript. Hopefully it'll be all worth it, eh, Kathy? Hopefully quite a few of them will sign up and we can get you those vouchers. <laughs> yeah, we'll have, we'll have ten minutes' work and hopefully send you hundred, hundreds of dollars of vouchers, eh? <laughs> and the fifth excerpt is 20 minutes and 13 seconds into the call and ends 20 minutes and 26 seconds into the call. 0114 on the transcript. Now, have you got any more in that old phone? Uh, I'm just looking. Yeah, you look, you take your time, because obviously the more we've got to ring today, obviously the better it is for you, you know what I mean? 
and the final excerpt is 21 minutes and 33 seconds into the call and finishes 21 minutes and 56 seconds into the call, page 0115 of the transcript. That's the one, perfect. And then any more in that old one? I'm going through the old one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you just keep going through that, because then after we've gone through your old one, if you want to put me on loudspeaker, we'll then go through your new one, and we'll get everybody off there as well. Um. Then you've got the maximum chance for the maximum vouchers. So do we take from that recording, Ms Marika, that you were looking on your phone for numbers of people you knew, looking on your old phone and your new phone? Yes. Yes. Uh, and what did you think that the person you were speaking to was going to do with the information you gave him? I, I thought he'll give me more vouchers. That was on my mind. And did you ever get any vouchers, Ms Marika? No. No. And about a week after this, on the 16th of September 2015, did you call Let's Ensure to try to cancel your policy? I did, yes. Uh, now, this is a short call, so I'll play you the whole recording. Uh, SAF 0001 0001 0074, and the transcript is SAF 0001 0001 0120. Yes, who am I speaking to? Patrick. Uh, Patrick, yep. I, I think I am going to um, uh, cancel my whole thing because uh, I think it was taking double double payment out of my pay. <coughs> Better one. I'm going to cancel my um, policy now, please. Okay, no worries. Let me bring up your details. I'll, this is the sales department, customer service. They do the cancellations, but um, they can sort that out for you if you'd like. Let me bring up your details. Bear with me. Okay. Have you got a policy number with us? Yes. My policy number is L for Larry. Yep. C for Cat. Yep. Zero 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 seven. Yep. Two five seven eight. <clears throat> okay, bear with me, I'll bring up your details here now. Let me just see. Okay, this is Cathy I'm speaking to. Yes. <clears throat> Cathy, no problem. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to customer service to call you back. If you want to cancel, they can start that out for you. Um, so, what, so Cathy, what happens? You've got double debit, did you say, yeah? Cathy, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cathy, what I'm going to do, I'm going to customer service to call you back. Your contact number. Correct. I'm going to need them to call you back in the next 10 minutes. They'll start that out for you, okay? Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. That was your voice we heard on that recording, Ms Marika? Yes. And then uh, I'll play you a recording of a call from Let's Ensure to you later that day. Again, it's a fairly short call, so I'll play you the whole call. It's SAF 0001 0001 0075. And the transcript is SAF 0001 0001 0122. Hello. Hello, is that Cathy? Hello? Hi, is that Cathy? Okay. Yes. Oh, hi Cathy, it's back here, let's in sure. How are you going? Hmm? Is it Becky at Let's Insure? Yeah. Just about your insurance, I was just ringing you back. Yeah, I, I've come to the out because uh, I'm not getting enough money to be able to pay for the insure. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Alright, Kathy, well what, can I say policy manager? I'll, I'll just bring up your details, okay, and I'll, I'll get that sorted for you, okay? Mm. Alright, no worries. So, Kathy, I just need to let you know the call's recorded and I can only provide general advice. But would you just be able to confirm your address and date of birth for me, please? What for? Just so I can bring up your details. 
Yep. Sorry, sorry, what was the address? Yep, that's lovely. Thanks, Cathy. Okay, let me just bring up all your details for you there. So is, is it just not affordable at the moment? Affordable, no. Oh, okay, Cathy. No, no worries. Cause I know because you've, you've got a lot of people, haven't you? You've got yourself, um, you've got no uh, on one policy and then you've got yourself on the I'm other. Not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not worried about that. I'm, I don't, I'm not working at the moment. Yeah, all, yeah. To to okay, well, I don't, I don't, I don't know if this would help you, Cathy. Like I said, I'm actually a policy manager, okay? Uh, but we could actually do this so you wouldn't actually have to pay anything for the next month. We'd give you the next month for free if that would help you. Um, and then what you could do, Cathy, I mean, I can give you all my details, okay? So even, say, in a month's time, if, if you are still struggling, you can call me directly. But what it means for you, so you'll, you'll still be covered, but you'll just get the next month for free. I mean, would that help you just until, like, just because I know I've, I've been if out of work. Anything, but if, anything, if anything like that would help, yeah. Yeah, I'm well, right absolutely. I'm yeah. struggling, yeah. I know, Cathy, I've been there myself before when I've been out of work, and it is stressful, isn't it? Um, but, but what I'll do, I mean, I, I can do that for you now. So like, so like I said, what it means, you'll still all be covered, but you won't pay anything at all for the next month, okay? Um, but yeah, what, what I'll do, do, okay, but I mean, Kathy, have you got a pen at all? Sorry? Have you got a pen at all? I'll give you all my details. Permit? Oh, no, sorry, a pen, something to write my name with. Yeah, i got a pen and a pen. Oh, oh you have, perfect. Hi, right, Kathy, but my name's Becky. How do you spell that? Oh, so it's B-E. B-E. Becky? Yeah, Becky, that's right. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, brilliant. Uh, my phone number, Cathy, is 1300. Yeah? Yep, 355. 355, yeah. Yep, and 355 again. 355. Yep, but I'm actually your policy manager there, Cathy, okay? So you can give me a call if, if you ever need anything. But, I mean, so if, if that would help you, Cathy, I can do that for you now. So you won't have to pay anything at all, okay? I'll just give you my policy number now, all right? Yeah, I, I think I've got them here because you've, you've got two policies, isn't there? They're split between the two. Um, so, I mean, what, what I'll do for both policies, you, you won't have to pay anything, okay? So we'll give you the next month for free for everyone. I mean, so if, if that would help you, Cathy, would you like me to do that for you? If you can do that, no, yeah, that'd be mostly yeah, no, absolutely, Kathy, I can do that for you. So what we do, so for, for for all of everyone on the policy, there won't be any payment until the 13th of October. Okay, so it gives you nearly a month there, completely free of charge. Um, but I mean, you've you've got my details, Kathy. So you know, if, if you are still struggling, just give me a call directly, and I'll always do my best to help. All right? The 13th of October. Yeah, yeah. 13th of October. So we won't take anything before then. Okay. Okay, that's oh. Friday. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, all right then. Thanks, okay. Becky. No, no worries, took happy. Really glad I could help. But you're happy to keep that in place and we just give you that bit of space just until you're back on your feet? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm due back at work in, in October. Oh, okay, no, perfect. It should time it quite well then. <laughs> so, uh, so I'm really glad I could help, Kathy. But, I mean, if, if you need anything, just give me a call, okay? All right, then. Thanks, Becky. No worries, Kathy. Have a lovely day. You too. Bye. 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 So, Ms. Marika, in those phone calls, you were trying to cancel your policy, is that right? Yes. And you were trying to cancel your policy because it was too much money for you? Yes, it was too much. But Let's Ensure told you that you could have a month for free instead. They told me that, but I didn't get that. You didn't get that? For free. I don't know what was the month of free for. Because they didn't explain it to me. I was struggling of hearing. It was really hard for me to hear, yes. And how much money, do you remember how much money Let's Ensure was taking out of your bank account for these payments at this time? $60 a month. Okay. And after you tried to cancel your policy, did Let's Ensure keep calling on your phone? Yes. <coughs> and in your statement you say that sometimes they called you day after day and sometimes once a week? Well, they never left me alone. And did you understand why they were calling you? Maybe to get more names of people. 
and phone numbers. The, the more names and numbers I'd give them. And did you speak to them on some of those occasions? Did the people that I Yes, did you, yeah, did you I answer them? Yes. You did? Yes. And did you understand what they were talking to you about? I told them to be aware of phone call coming in. That's Sorry. all. Sorry, could you say that just again, Cathy? Aware? I rang and told my friends and family for the phone call coming in. Be aware? Yes. It's going to be a private number. And in March 2016, did you decide to get some help from legal aid? That's when I um, looked for help and found a brochure. Yes. Called... Um, From the legal aid and the voucher. And did it? Um, money worries, did it call? Yes. Brochure. Money worries? Yes. And did the that, brochure tell you that legal aid were coming to Condolbin? They, they were coming to Condolbin for other people, to see other people help. And I found them at the family support in Condor. And did you go to see them about your electricity bills? That was my first. Um, Thing yet to seek help. And did they help you with your electricity bills? They helped me, yes. And did they also find out from you that you were paying for funeral insurance um, that you told them you couldn't afford? That's right, yes. Yeah. And did they help you to cancel the policy? Um, the person from the legal aid were there helping me with that? Yes. Uh, and did they tell you that they were going to write to Let's Insure about your insurance? Yes. Yes, and you've uh, given us as one of the exhibits to your statement a copy of the letter that Legal Aid sent to Let's Insure on your behalf in November 2016. So that's uh, exhibit 15 to your statement It'll come up on the screen, SAF 0001 0001 0059. <coughs> and could, is this the letter that you understand was sent to Let's Insure by Legal Aid? Yes. Yes. And if we have a look partway through that letter at 0063, we see that Legal Aid uh, told uh, Let's Ensure that they thought there were some legal issues with the way they'd been dealing with you. Yes. And we see those legal issues referred to in this letter. A, li a list of some of the issues that they were going to raise with Let's Insure. You see that that was in the letter? Yes. Yes. Uh, and uh, uh, I'll just ask that we look at 0064 in the letter before moving on. Because we see there that uh, your lawyers made a proposal to Let's Insure, asking for a refund of the premiums that you'd paid. Do you remember that? Yes. Yes. And you've also given us, as Exhibit 16 to your statement, a letter that Legal Aid got back from Let's Insure, and that's SAF 0001 0001 0067. We see there that Let's Insure said to Legal Aid, we dispute the allegations made in your letter and confirm that all times we have acted properly and in accordance with the law. However, as an act of goodwill, we will refund all premiums paid on the above policies, currently totalling $1,890.34 
subject to your client's authorisation for us to cancel their policies. But that's what Let's Ensure said to Legal Aid. I think so. Yes. And do you remember getting any money back from Let's Ensure after Legal Aid helped you? I don't remember. Yes. And do you still have a funeral insurance policy with Let's Ensure? Yes. You, you still have one now or was it cancelled? No. Cancelled? Cancelled, yes. yes. Thank you very much, Ms Marika. I have no further questions. Yes. Mr Cheshire? No, thank you, Commissioner. Yes. Mr Weber, do you? No. no. Ms Marika, thank you for coming. Uh, and Thank you very much for your time of no. listening. Thank you. Um, you may uh, leave the witness box and go and join the rest of your family. Thank you. Thank you. She's right. Right. Yeah. 